Hello everyone, this is Pauk's professional workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with the shirt of the complicated design. I remind you that this picture was sent to me by one of my subscribers. Today I'm going to show you how to cut and tack the front for this shirt. I'm making a mock-up, so I'm going to cut just one half of the front. You need to make a full-size garment. Don't ask me how much fabric you need for sewing such shirt. It's obvious that you need to use a bigger piece of fabric to make this detail. This is a perfect design for those who want to hide their bellies. Before I start cutting, I want to tell you what you should pay attention to. I can move the sketch aside. Let's have a look at the pattern. I remind you that there is going to be a fold here. This is how it should look like. Have a close look here. The original line was accurate. I shouldn't have altered it. I've cut too much. It's okay. I'll just make the edge straight when cutting. Have a look here. There is a checkpoint on the chest top. This is a regular chest dart. I'll sign the checkpoint. The checkpoint, the bust top. These two points should match. There will be a fold here in the lower part. There will be no fold in the upper part. I need to make a cut a couple of millimeters above the waistline. I'm cutting the extra detail. Let's have a look at what we got. There will be a fold in the lower part and a regular dart here. This detail will look very beautiful. I've already drawn a line on the fabric. I'm using a marker pen for you to see everything clearly. I've drawn the line and marked it. This is the fold line. There is a fold line in the pattern as well. I need to make the lines match perfectly. Notice how careful I am. I'll draw all the other lines with the marker pen as well. The design turned out to be very complicated. Next I need to pin the pattern on the both sides of the fold line. I think that this is the fifth pattern I'm making for this shirt. It took me quite a long time to find the best way for making it. I remind you that this is the fold line. This edge should be made smooth and beautiful. If there was no dart here, I would have just made the two flat folds here. I didn't want the armholes to be baggy, so I decided to make the chest darts. I prefer to wear and sew accurate high quality garments. I can start cutting now. I remind you that I've made a mistake here. 
The edge should be made smooth and beautiful. Watch the way I'm cutting it. I'm not going to add the seam extensions here, because I'm making a mock-up for a dummy. I'll just add some here. I've added the seam extension here in order to be able to stitch the dot accurately. Do not forget to make the notches on the waistline. There should be a notch on the waistline here as well. I can move these details aside. Next, I need to cut the first front layer. I recommend everyone making the mock-ups first. The design is pretty complicated, so you need to know what to do. You can change the design however you want. People say that we are not old as long as our brain work. If we make more of such complicated garments, we will never get old. Please be very attentive. I need to cut the chest dart. I'm going to take it, in order for me to work with it more conveniently. Next, I need to draw a line in this detail, which should match the fold line. I'll also draw the center front. I can detach the pattern and move it aside. I need to take the dart first. After that, I'll move on to cutting the next detail. I'm making this blouse on the basis of my basic pattern. I can throw the patterns aside. If I decide to make such blouse, I'll use the mock-up as a pattern. This is the first layer of the front detail. It's very simple. I can move it aside. Let's have a look at this detail. I need to cut and take this dot as well. You can outline it if you don't want to cut it.
Next, I need to trace the lines which mark the width of the fold. I'll draw the fold on the fabric as well. I can detach the pattern and move it aside. All the needed details are drawn and signed. The dart, the fold, the waistline. Work slowly and accurately. Make sure that you understand what you are doing. I really hope that at least some of you will manage to make such shirts. That's all for today. Next I will continue working with the shirt. I'm going to show you how to tag the front detail. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.